Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition bug slash glitch video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this very simple gravity block duplication machine. Now, before I jump into the tutorial, I want to say a huge shout out to Mr. Cool Dogs, who is actually a cat as well. I mean, I don't know how that works, but he is also an admin on the Jam Fam Discord server where you can submit your own tips, tricks, or glitches if you do have any to submit. We have a chat over there specifically for bugs and glitches. So yeah, if you are interested, jump over to the Discord. But yeah, huge shout out to Mr. Cool Dogs for designing this farm. That being said, let's jump straight on into the video. So just before I show you the materials you're going to need, I'm going to actually show you how this thing works. As you can see, I've got a full inventory just of some wood. I'm going to turn this on and go AFK a little bit just so some blocks actually go through the farm. Now, as you can see, this specific farm uses an end gateway and the couple of blocks I've removed from the top, that does not matter. You are not going to need to remove any blocks from your end gateway. So, I think we've gone AFK long enough now. Basically, um, I've got to make sure to be in survival, but when I go through in survival, there should be some blocks. And, of course, we won't pick them up, as you can see. We got ourselves some gravel, some different types of sand, and of course, the best item, the anvil. Now, in today's video, I'm not going to be showing you a collection system, purely for the fact every time I logged out of my world, the spot changed. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys sort that out. And if you're wondering what went on here, I kind of like went a little bit crazy with some TNT. But yeah, let's go back through here and show you the materials you are going to need. The materials you are going to need are as followed. You're going to need four pistons. Bring yourself eight redstone repeaters. Bring yourself 25 pieces of redstone. About a stack of uh, white concrete. Again, it doesn't need to be white concrete. Just some solid blocks of your choice. Bring yourself four walls it doesn't matter what walls uh, i'm going for the black stone brick walls you're also going to want four buckets of water preferably four buckets of water because it's a lot easier to get four buckets than make a source block up near a gateway right also bring yourself a torch but you are going to be able to get this back and that is not part of the farm and of course this specific farm only works for sand gravel red sand an anvil now i know a lot of you will be wanting concrete so i'm going to show you a little well it's not really a trick it's just like common knowledge basically you can still make concrete the only thing you've got to get is your dye flowers are really not that hard to obviously come by now if i go into survival and basically if i wanted to make concrete all i'd have to do as you can see is get my sand and my gravel and whatever color dye um i would want there is so many easy ways to get dye um, and then, of course, just make my concrete. And you can make quite a lot, as you can see. So, although this specifically doesn't do concrete on its own, it does do the stuff that you need to make concrete. Minus, of course, the dye. So, your first step, you don't want to fall like that. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm so glad that I actually showed you all of the materials before I died. Fortunately enough, I know like how to build this pretty well, so I should be okay. But the first step, what you have got to do is find yourself an end gateway. Remember, you're not going to damage your end gateway whatsoever. So if you wanted to remove this farm at a later date, you could do that. Also, in with the first step, I would probably make this platform. It's going to be a lot easier for you to do in survival. So once you've done that and you've got all the materials that you need, you want to go ahead and grab your walls and simply place a wall on each like little uh, thing here. And that is step two, complete. Go ahead and grab a piston. And place a piston in each corner like so facing upwards like that and you should have something that looks a little bit like this next we want to go ahead and place a block on the side of the pistons like that kind of like a little l shape on the side of the pistons so we're going to do that on all four like so and after that you should have something that looks like this then you want to go ahead and link up the walls all the way around like this and of course, this is going to keep our water from spilling because, of course, we do not like spillage on this channel. And if you really want, you can remove these blocks because you don't actually need them. I mean, uh, yeah, it's going to save you a few blocks. And then you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, next step, you're going to want to come to the bottom of the end gateway and simply go two blocks out 
from the center like so in each direction of course at this point you can remove any blocks from here because you may need to place them and those could get in the way then you want to go ahead and grab your repeaters and this is important that you get this step correct so you want to go ahead and place a repeater facing that way or like whatever way you're going make sure all of your repeaters in the inside are facing the same way so for example if i'm facing it this way i'm gonna face the next one facing this way right but if i was going this way I would face the next one facing this way, right? So they're all facing the right way. So you're going to want to pick what direction you want to go. I'm, I'm just going to go in this direction. Probably best if you do the same. You're going to want to place your repeater like so. And then just press it once. You're going to want to make sure that you click it once. Oh, sir. Yeah, you could be in trouble and the timing is going to be off. So once you place your first four repeaters, you can then go ahead and place your second four facing in to those repeaters like so. And once you've done that, you should have all eight repeaters on your machine now. So we can go ahead and go to the bottom of our pistons, grab some more solid blocks, and simply place a solid block there. We're going to do that on all four sides. On underneath of the pistons, we're placing a solid block. And finally, we're going to place that one there. So at this point, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. We are nearly there right now. Now, what we can actually do is link all of this up because of course we're going to want to connect this up with redstone and finally we got the last quarter to link up boom 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 and boom and of course now we can go ahead and get our redstone and simply link that up like so it's going to go around this side and one final thing you can actually do at this point as well is come around to the front i'll do it facing your main island and of course we're going to go ahead and grab a lever not 64 just so we've got a little bit of an on and off switch in fact i bring this out one more like so just like that perfect of course it's not going to work when you turn it on straight away we do have to activate this machine but first we're going to want to grab our buckets of water and of course the blocks that we want to be duplicating i'm going to be picking an anvil some normal sand some red sand and of course some gravel i will note as well scaffolding does not work on this it just breaks straight away when it goes on to the piston so all i'm gonna do is place a bucket of water in each corner of this farm like so so once you've added your water you should have something that looks a little bit like this at this point you want to go ahead and place your items you actually want to duplicate i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now perfect now is the time we're going to need that redstone torch. So let's go ahead and grab that. We're also going to need some holder blocks just here. And this is just going to activate the farm. You must do this and not forget to do this step. Or else it will not work. But before that, I'm going to actually remove this bottom platform. Because I'm no longer going to need it. So yeah, the step that you need to do is simply come under one of your pistons. Place a block like here so there's a gap so you can get a redstone torch on top of that block go underneath one more time place another couple blocks so you've got something that looks a little bit like this so we're on this quarter and we've got two more blocks going down we're going to place a redstone torch on this one and we're going to place a redstone torch on this one and then break this block and once we've done that we will actually activate our farm now this straight away is going to start duplicating our items so for example if i go ahead and completely fill my inventory and make sure i do not have any of the items i'm duplicating in my inventory so let's get rid of that let's get rid of the anvils and of course let's get rid of right so i think we've got all the items let's make sure we've got full inventory and we can go through First of all, of course, I'm going to go into survival. Also, just pick the items up anyway. Actually, I didn't think that through too much. Let me go and create it first to uh, destroy these blocks. All right, now I'm going to go into survival to show you this thing in action. Boom. Oh, oh yeah, you're going to need to turn it off first. I should probably mention that. 
All right, I oh, know I did go through. There we go. As you can see, we got a couple anvils. I can see some dirt. I'm not sure how many pieces we've got. You know, you know what we could actually do actually. I suppose we should pick them up to see how many pieces we've made in that short amount of time. I can't imagine it to be that many. I mean, seven anvils, 16 pieces of redstone, red, red, red sand, um, some normal pieces of sand, and 16 pieces of gravel. That's actually not too bad, considering uh, we've only literally just turned it on. That is, oh god, I just looked at an enderman. Quick, creative, creative, creative. Oh. That was close. Yeah, as I was saying, that's actually not too bad considering the fact we've literally just turned this thing on. Let me uh, go ahead and go back through. So there we have it, a gravity block duplication machine. Again, you will have to work on some kind of a collection system. It does move about when you log off the game. However, if you did want to do some easy collection system, the best way around that would be to find the spot where the blocks land, get yourself a half slab, get yourself a hopper and get yourself a chest and simply set up something like this so place the hopper on the floor in the exact spot where the items would of course drop through the end gateway place a, a chest underneath that hopper and of course if you didn't know when gravity blocks land on like half slabs they will break and of course the hopper underneath should pick them up be nice if you uh, had a few walls here that way you wouldn't like lose any of the items like that you see the hopper should like pick pick it up mostly of course like i said you're gonna want walls to make sure that nothing falls out because it will bounce out but if it doesn't bounce out it will get collected by the hopper so yeah there we go i hope this helps you out in your world again a massive shout out to mr cool dogs i will catch you on the next one